Okay, this video is going to be about the eraser tool, the scissor tool, and the knife tool. Um, to be honest with you, I don't use these tools a lot, but they are available to be used, obviously. Um, with the eraser tool, what you want to do is pick the size of your eraser. You can see that I've got a size right here as it follows along my cursor. If I double click the tool, I can increase the size. I could change the roundness. Right now, the default roundness. Okay. It, now I'm squishing it from the default roundness. I could change the angle of it. Uh, it's not going to affect something that's round, but if I went back to change the roundness and then adjusted the angle, or you could just reset it. I'll just increase the size a little bit and say OK. Now on my document, you can see that I've got three objects. I've got a polygon, uh, kind of a tower looking rectangle, and a shape that I made with the pen tool. And to use the erase tool, you do need to have an item or an object selected. So I'm going to go ahead and select this polygon. And I'm going to take my erase tool and I'm just going to swipe through it. Now what that does is it cuts, cuts the object into two pieces based on the size of the eraser. Let me do that again. This time I'll increase the size. And I'll adjust the roundness and maybe the angle and say OK. I'm going to select this object and do the same thing. Oops, the eraser tool. OK, so you've got, there's not a huge difference um, in my mind between the angles, but you can see what it can do. Now I've got three pieces in this. Again, it doesn't matter how you've created the object meaning I created this object with the pen tool. The eraser tool is still going to work as long as you've got the object selected. I'm just going to hit undo command multiple times. Undo, 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 undo. Just putting things back the way they were. Now the next tool is the scissors tool. And this is going to cut paths into segments. What I mean by that is I will go ahead and select this object. And I'll actually go to my direct selection tool so I can see the anchor points and segments that make up this shape a little bit better. I'm going to go to the scissor tool and I'm just going to clip, clip. And if I go back and select my object and move it away, you can see that it actually clipped out this little segment here and if I go to unfill so I'm going to unfill the color okay so you've got what you have oops I'm kind of losing it because I don't have a stroke let me put a stroke on that okay so what you do have is an incomplete path it will fill with color but it's just not best practice especially when you're building icons and logos um, I'm not a big fan of the scissors tool, but let me do it one more time. I'm going to go ahead and select this object here. I'm going to go to the scissors tool and I will clip here and I'll clip up here. If I select that object, you can see even as I'm hovering over that I clipped out a segment of it. I'm going to go ahead and Get rid of the fill, add a stroke so you can see it a little bit better. I'll get rid of the fill on this object. Okay. Again, you can see that it just clips out part of a path, but the problem is you no longer have a complete path, which is just not a great idea when you're creating uh, graphics. All right, let's talk about the next tool, which is the knife tool, and I'm just going to hit my command Z a bunch of times just to kind of set back where I was. Okay. Command Z, command Z, and that's basically undoing everything that I've done. All right, next thing I'm going to do is use the knife tool. Now it's very, it's very similar to the eraser tool except it doesn't give you a width. What do I mean by that? I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the knife tool, but I have to have something selected. 
back to the knife tool and I'll just draw through this object and you can see that it does split the object into pieces. Now I find this one a little bit more helpful because it does create two paths, complete paths when, it, when that does that, meaning you've got a complete path all the way around on this object and this one as well. I'll go ahead and do this object with the knife tool. It's not the most accurate tool as you're using it. Even if I hold down the shift key, I don't get a straight path, but it is it does have the ability to make multiple paths out of one main path. And again, it will work also on something that was created using the pen tool. Okay. Again, these are extra tools. The erase tool would be based on a width, but it is going to create multiple complete paths. The scissors tool uh, really clips different segments, uh, unfortunately ends up leaving incomplete paths. The knife tool will also split objects up, uh, but it's not based on a width, and it's just not the most accurate tool kind of in your toolbox.